Keep your family safe, O Lord, with unfailing care, that relies solely on the hope of heavenly grace. They may be defended always by your protection. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever.
and he, then he was buried, and he raised on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. Then he appeared to Cephas, and then to the twelve. And after that, he appeared to more than five hundred brothers at once, most of whom are still living, though some have fallen asleep. After that, he appeared to James, and then to all the apostles. Last of all, as to one abnormally born, he appeared to me. Therefore, last of all, therefore he appeared to me. Therefore, whether it be I or they, so we preach, so you believe. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Discipleship. 
We all know how Simon feels. We have all had days when nothing seems to be going right. We have all given something our best shot and come away empty-handed. Sometimes we want to say enough is enough, but we still get out of bed to face the daily challenges of life. That too is also discipleship. Discipleship is about giving when we don't think that we have anything left to give. It is about trying and trying and trying again because quitting is never an option for a follower of Christ. With each passing day, I come to a better understanding of just how important is the virtue of perseverance. It is important in our journey of faith. It is important in day-to-day -day living. At times, we may feel tired, frustrated, or even defeated. Still, Jesus would say to us what he essentially said to Simon, give it another try, give it another chance. Towards the end of the Gospel passage, Jesus says to Simon, do not be afraid. If fear dominates our lives, then we will never accomplish anything. To a Christian, fear is a useless and meaningless emotion. It serves no purpose. Fear will put us on the sidelines of life. Life, however, is not a spectator sport. To be rich and full and meaningful, life requires action and participation. Therefore, let us never be afraid to take a risk. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Let us never be afraid to love, to forgive, or to take a chance. May we never be so afraid of failing or making a mistake that we accomplish nothing. Christianity is a journey. Sometimes the way is clear, sometimes not. Sometimes it is rich and full. Other times it is dry and difficult. Sometimes we know just where we are heading. Other times we feel completely lost. Still, Jesus says, do not be afraid. He tells us to keep going. We may never leave everything behind to follow Jesus as did the disciples 2,000 years ago. But if we only learn to leave fear behind, what an accomplishment that would be. It would not only be an accomplishment in our personal lives, it would also be a great accomplishment as a people of faith. Please remain seated. During this Mass, we will have the first anointing of our catechumens who are on the journey to becoming full Roman Catholics, which they will do at the Easter Vigil. So I ask the catechumens, Kate Lowry, Lily Lowry, Layton Lockhart, Landry Lockhart, Joseph Schlarman, Benjamin Schlarman, and Matthew Schlarman to please come forward. Spirit, when you read in the synagogue of Nazareth, 
You filled the words of the prophet Isaiah that proclaimed liberty to captives and announced the season of forgiveness. We pray for these, your servants, who have opened their eyes and hearts to your word. Grant that they may grasp your moment of grace. Do not let their minds be troubled or their lives be tied to earthly desires. Do not let them remain estranged from the hope of your promises or enslaved by the spirit of unbelief. Rather, let them believe in you, whom the Father has established as universal Lord and to whom he has subjected all things. Let them submit themselves to the spirit of grace so that with hope in their calling, they may join the priestly people and share in the abundant joy of the new Jerusalem, where you live and remain forever and ever. Catechumens, Kate, Lily, Layton, Landry, Joseph, Benjamin, and Matthew, we anoint you with the oil of salvation in the name of Christ our Savior, May he strengthen you with his power who lives and reigns forever and ever. Let us pray. God of power, look upon these, your servants, as they deepen their understanding of the gospel. Grant that they may come to know and love you, and always heed your will with receptive minds and generous hearts. Teach them through the time of preparation, and enfold them within your church, so that they may share your holy mysteries, both on earth and in heaven. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. My dear friends, these catechumens, who are our sisters and brothers, have already traveled a long road. We rejoice with them in the gentle guidance of God who brought them to this day. Let us pray that they may press onwards until they come to share fully in our way of life. For prophets and teachers in the church, that their call be heard and put into action. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That our catechumens may undertake with a generous heart and soul whatever God asks of them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That God our Father may reveal Christ to our catechumens more and more in passing day. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For this parish, that God will grant answers to all our prayers and needs. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lead their heart in the light of your dwelling place, that they may gaze upon you for all eternity. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the intentions listed in our parish book of prayer brought the intentions we hold in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord of heaven and earth, you manifest your glory in everything you have made. Through your Holy Spirit, help us to look beyond human barriers. We ask this through Christ our Lord. And let us show our support for our catechumens.
My dear catechumens, this community now sends you forth to reflect more deeply upon the Word of God, which you have shared with us today. Be assured of our loving support and prayers for you. We look forward to the day when you will share fully in the Lord's table. Go in peace, and may the Lord remain with you always. Please remain seated for the preparation of the gifts. <laughs> 